people with disabilities can stand up for themselves. They can ask. <laughs>
Judge Ginsburg ruled favorably. It was a great day. It took me a long, long time to get out and to see what the community was about. This is what the judge asked right at the beginning of the Olmstead decision. She asked, since the American with Disabilities Act prohibits discrimination against persons with disabilities by public entities and programs, does that mean that the ADA requires the placement of persons with disabilities in community settings rather than in institutions? What was the word I stressed there? Requires. And what was the Supreme Court's answer to that question? Yes. I had high hopes. I was ready to go. Because sitting there every day, just nothing really to do. And it's a ward where when you go behind the door, the door locks behind you. So you're stuck in this ward. She said, confinement in an institution severely diminishes the everyday life activities of individuals, including family relations, social contact, work options, economic independence, educational advancement, and cultural enrichment. I said I wanted a family that would love me, be there for me. Well, my dreams came true. I found this family. I moved out July 13, 2007. And it seems like we're always waiting in Georgia. We're, the Office for Civil Rights entered into an agreement with the state of Georgia. The Department of Justice entered into an agreement with the state of Georgia. The AJC did a series of articles called Hidden Chain in, Georgia, in Metro Atlanta. Um, and good old Georgia is still writing an Olmstead plan as we speak. So it's like we're waiting, 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 waiting. But remember what Martin Luther King said about waiting? He said, every African American that I know has been told that they have to wait. <clears throat> but for each African American that I talk to about waiting, what it really means to that person is never. So what we have to do is not let that happen to our civil rights movement. It's not, do we have a right or maybe, it's yes, we have a right. You have the mind, the heart, and the will. You could do it, because I did it. I have a right to live my own life in the community of my choosing. It's been 10 months for me enjoying life in the community with prayer and faith. I believe I can remain in the community. Thank you, Lois Curtis and Elaine Wilson for inspiring me to want to help others. Thank you for listening today. I will be strong and I will fight. I want all of you to know that when you're going through hard times, you just keep on shining. You shine. I would say I was like a caterpillar, but now I'm a butterfly. But it takes a community to make change happen, right? right. So that, that's, that's an important thing, and Long Road Home is doing that. And Long Road Home is about deinstitutionalization. It's about promoting deinstitutionalization and promoting the fact that people can live in the community. Where do you go now during the day? Okay. I go to Sycamore Drive.